uh, in the last couple of months, there has been uh, this like really big hype around creating a symbol that identifies us yeah. to non naturists um, which is called the nature symbol. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's like yeah. a sun with waves. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? You guys have been uh, silent a little bit on that topic. Why? Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan, but I'm waiting to adopt it. Uh, I'm not really sure why. We I'm need waiting. a symbol. I, 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 I'm I, ready I, to adopt it. Yeah. But the I, thing I'm is, not sure why we need a symbol. We had this conversation three years ago yeah. with Ralph, yeah. who uh, started his own nude beach, and he also wanted the symbol. Yeah. And yeah, then it's true. For evenings and evenings, we were drinking wine and talking about the symbol. <clears throat> we, we could never really figure it out. And then uh, was it Bjorn who uh, launched the idea? Oh. Uh, and I participated in one of his, uh, his test cases that he shows like five symbols mm -hmm. and you get, get to choose one. And I really pushed that it had to be easy because some symbols were really complicated. And mm -hmm. I, I really pushed like people have to be able to paint it on the wall. They have to pay, yeah. be able to, to write it down. Like to, and if you have no artistic uh, background like me yeah. it's like I can't, I, can't, I can't this symbol i can make like i can make a sun and a couple of waves something more difficult i could i could not do um so what was i going to say yeah i'm definitely uh, a fan of the symbol but the question is how do we spread it because there's so many different uh authorities within naturism that's going to be very hard to spread I, I think that's what, that's what makes this symbol interesting, that it doesn't come from any of the authorities. It's something that comes from the people. That's definitely true. And I right. think that, that that could be good and bad because we ultimately would like the authorities to also adopt it. Mm -hmm. But if they see this as maybe a competition or something or, or something that they can't control, which mm -hmm. is a problem, um, it, it's, it has its reasons that institutions want to be able to control things because it helps maintain a standard of quality but it's also something that becomes distant from the everyday person mm -hmm. they they well, why do we need a symbol i think does we do group, need a symbol does the vegans group have a symbol i well, understand do, uh, do the, the vegans LGB, have a symbol the lgbt <laughs> community has a symbol yeah, yeah. yeah they have a flag and it's a powerful symbol i agree but <sighs> Honestly, wait. I think what, um, what, I, what I like, about, I don't think the symbol itself is relevant. I, I think it could be anything. It, that doesn't matter. What matters is the adoption, people mm -hmm. adopting the symbol. And I think that's going to be the challenge. And I understand, I, I was a, a skeptical in the beginning because this idea was brought up to me um, by Buren during one of our weekly Zoom calls, which is mm -hmm. interesting that I was able to follow this process as it went on. And I dismissed it. I'm like, ah, I don't, I, I don't think that's important. I don't, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. But what I really like about Buren is that he was really convinced that this was something important and he started working on it. He started requesting people to have, uh, you know, their feedback and their options and whatever. And I just really liked the way that he, he managed it. There was a point where I was upset because I really liked one of those symbols that had um, a naked person. Yeah. It was it was like a triangle with yeah. way yeah. That, already, that already exists. That yeah. is a symbol in in, in, uh, in Europe. That's a huge symbol. The triangle and with two lines and then the uh, naked woman. And people wear it um, as... Um, I didn't know that. But I really like that symbol because for me, I wanted it to be obvious. But what I really liked about the explanation that they gave me is that it's important for a symbol to be identified within a community that can help you approach someone else and identify them without, without everyone knowing in your face that, it's, mm -hmm. that it has to do with nudity. If it was too explicit, a lot of people would not use it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I do think it's important to have something that could help us identify each other. I, I do see value in, in having a symbol. It, it has its advantages. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It definitely doesn't hurt to have. No, yeah. 
but it's a lot of time and effort. And I, the way that it, they have been handling it, I see a lot of excitement around this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's being picked up much more yeah. than I would ever expect. Mm -hmm. So you see, I, I, yeah, you see it moving. Mm -hmm. That's but, great. 